And you telling me that getting off the grid and, and reclaiming your power through resources of life, that that will do nothing? What do you want to do? Sit around, rah, rah, revolution. Oh, but please, government, don't cut off my energy. Please give me food. Please, government, don't lock us down. Please don't tell, tell me what I can and can't do. That's your revolution? That's your solution? Sit back like sitting fucking ducks until the next big, major, even worse than this current situation, the big sh fucking next event happens? Then what? Get knowledge, get, get, get big on What up, fam? Hey, so as y'all see by the title, um, another part of the song that has obviously been uh, polarizing, been getting a lot of comments about it. Um, if y'all haven't checked out the song, go do that. Link is below. It's doing, still doing amazingly well. So thank you all once again. Make sure you go check that out. Check out the new Big, uh, Big Talk podcast. You know what I'm saying? Link is down below. So, <clears throat> money. Money to build. Ah, fucking money. Ah, it's fiat currency. Oh, these are you. What do you mean money? Oh, wealth. Oh. Fam, first of all, I want to get something straight for y'all. All right, because I be seeing people. People are so, man, people just jump to fucking assumptions and conclusions soon as you start talking about money. First of all, I'm the only fucking rapper. All right, check my catalog. Check all these other conscious rappers. I'm not, forget mainstream, even conscious rappers. I'm literally the only one that has put out every single song, every piece of, every project, everything that I've put out for free, free on my website, getbigonem.com. It don't matter if my shit is on Spotify, iTunes, all of that. It's still free on my website. The only reason I even monetize it and put it on Spotify and all of that is because my fans constantly ask me to do so because they already have those platforms and they want to be able to access my music on the platforms that they already use. It's really simple. And mind you, Spotify is fucking free anyway. YouTube is free anyway. So, but, but, but regardless, all of my music is free. So don't you dare, none of y'all ever try to come at me. You picked the wrong, wrong MC to come at talking about, oh, well, why are you, why are you making money off your music? All of my stuff is free. So that's, that's just a, that when you come at me saying that, you sound so ignorant, so uninformed. It's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Now, aside from that, aside from that, why would you, what, we live in a system where we need money. How the fuck do y'all survive? How do you survive? What do you survive from? How do you make your money to eat, to, to pay your rent, to pay your bills? Unless you are off the grid, don't you dare judge nobody else about doing what they got to do to survive within this wretched fucking system. Especially when they are doing it like I am, ethical, independent, free of all these fucking, I ain't got no corporations telling me what to do. I'm not controlled by nobody. All I do is put out a real, ethical, positive message. You know what I'm saying? Motivation, educational, knowledge, information, all positive. And I need to eat. I need to survive. Would you rather have me go and work at McDonald's? Would you rather have me go work for a big fucking corporation? Is that what you would rather have me do? Yo, people, people really, it's so like, yo, that's why I say I ain't even, it, this is within conscious, in the conscious movement of people who talk this nonsense. It's not the main, the mainstream people. I don't think they have any issue with people getting money. It's within this conscious because they have this notion that mo oh, money is evil. It's the root of evil. Nah, fam. Money is just an exchange. Sure. It's been corrupted. Don't please. I know everything about fiat currency, about the monetary system, about, about the, the fucking Federal Reserve. Go listen to my tr song, We in the Trap. I'm telling you, plenty other songs where I talk about it. That is not the point. Do you live in reality? Do you live in reality? You want to sit there on your fucking high horse and talk about, oh, money, oh, you want to make money. Meanwhile, you, you for sure are going to some job, making some money somehow to pay your fucking bills to eat to survive. So shut the fuck up. Straight up, man. This, this shit is so goddamn. For, uh, since I've started this, 
people are so ignorant. How it, it makes no sense. It is so hypocritical, so self-righteous, so holier than thou. That you could sit there from your fucking little computer. Jesus, hey, uh, fuck you. You want to make money uh, off of your activism. Meanwhile, you ain't doing no goddamn activism. You ain't doing nothing for nobody. You sit in there fucking eat, drinking your Coca-Cola or whatever the fuck you do and spending your money on whatever, earning your money. I don't know how you earn your money. For all I know, you could fucking be selling drugs and selling alcohol and poisoning the minds of the youth. But you want to judge me and others like me? Even though I give all my shit away for free, fam, it is so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous and it's, it's annoying as fuck. But anyway, <laughs> you know, there's always going to be people who, who, um, completely miss the point, completely misunderstand and, and just, you know, sitting on some high horse armchair revolutionaries as they call them. Like, what are you actually doing? Where are you actually getting your money from? How, what are you contributing? Check your fucking self and check my resume, check my catalog, check my activism nearly a decade. Everything I've done has been for free. You know how much fucking hard work, energy, money I put into this? I haven't even made my money back that I've invested into this shit. I, so literally, I am investing, I'm pu I've put more money into spreading this message than I've, I've, I've ever made, first of all. Now, now that we've got past that, and all you knuckleheads out there who got something to say, check your fucking self. Unless you're off the grid, you can't say nothing about nobody using no damn money and trying to make money in an honest, ethical way. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Now, as far as the line from the song goes, money to build, to get off the grid, using money to liberate ourselves from the system so we never have to use money again. I cannot believe my eyes or my ears when I see or hear people saying that, oh, getting off the grid is not going to do anything. So let me get this straight. So... You're aware of the fact that we are oppressed, that we are slaves to our very existence, that we are completely reliant and dependent on the system for the bare basic necessities, essentials of life. That without this, that, that we are at their total mercy, which we are witnessing right now. When they want to lock shit down, they lock it down. If they want to cut the, the power sources, they're cut. They want to cut food supplies, they're cut. They want to fucking cut water, it's cut. And you telling me? They're getting off the grid and, and reclaiming your power through resources of life that that will do nothing. What do you want to do? Sit around, rah, rah, revolution. Oh, but please, government, don't cut off my energy. Please give me food. Please, government, don't lock us down. Please don't tell, tell me what I can and can't do. That's your revolution. That's your solution. Sit back like sitting fucking ducks until the next big major, even worse than this current situation. The big fucking next event happens. Then what? How delusional can you be? Yo, I swear, everybody wants instant gratification. People want revolution now. People are living in a fucking fairy tale world. You are living in a delusional world. We are on lockdown. We are under occupation. Every single, but every single aspect of this world, of this, of our lives, is controlled. You th the illusion of freedom, as long as the resources are owned and controlled by the few at the top, we will never be free. And you think we're just going to magically topple this system, revolution, uh, overthrew the system, uh, and it's just going to magically crash. And we're going to just from all the chaos that would ensue and all the division and divisiveness amongst the masses that we're just magically going to organize and rebuild and reclaim our power and take over control of resources and the essentials of life. You are delusional. You're living in a fairy tale world. Keep sitting in your fucking, like I said, armchair revolutionary. Keep sitting there typing, ooh, revolution, and you're not doing a goddamn thing to reclaim your power and liberate yourself. Right now, there's only one way. Take back your power. Take back your life. And that, my friends, comes through resources. Resource. Source. Find the fucking source. Create the source for yourself.
The only way to do that is to get off the fucking grid, liberate yourself, grow your own food, have your own energy, solar power, or whatever else, me, it will be solar, have your own source of water, and there you go, fam. You no longer are dependent on the system. You no longer have to use money. You are free from the system and you could still use the system to fight against it. But at least you are free. You have liberated yourself and you could help others do the same. If you're sitting around, what do you think this is? Research revolutions. Do your research. Y'all ain't researching shit, man. I know. I've been at this 10 years. Y'all ain't really doing the, the, the research of of, of how revolutions work and how systems are overthrown and collapsed. Because guess what? It's never fucking happened. This system has forever been in place because people still naively think that we can overthrow this system from within this fucking system. No, this system has been placed for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It is so planned out, well thought ahead, organized, maybe for a hundred years in advance, in advance. To get to where we are now, we need to start thinking like that. But y'all are selfish. Y'all just thinking about yourself. You want revolution now. You want instant gratification. Wake the fuck up. We need to start thinking now and planning for 100 years from now. The reason we are where we're now is because people constantly, look at Malcolm X, look at Martin Luther King. They tried to use the system to, over, to change the system. And guess what both of them realized? Before they, they died. And the reason they were assassinated is because they realized this. And they said, you know what? We can't win within this system. We can't change the system with the system. We need a whole fuck. We need to start the fuck over. And we can't. This isn't a video game. This isn't a fucking movie. Y'all are take people are too naive and living in a fairy tale world. They think this shit is just going to be rah, rah, revolution. Everybody take to the streets, overthrow the government. And then what? And then what? Where are our resources? Where's the organization? How do we move forward? Where's the unity? Fam, right now, the only real tangible way that you can actually, there are people right now who have done it, who are free from the system, who have liberated themselves. And those people could say, fuck money, don't use money. Resources, essentials of life. If you want to be a slave to the system and sit there on your computer, rah, rah, revolution, oh, fuck you, diesel, you want money. Shut up. I ain't, but go ahead. Yet and still, go ahead. That's your prerogative. You want to sit around and be a sitting duck and wait for a fucking miracle? Go ahead. But me, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. And I'm going to grind and I'm going to get this money to build off the grid to liberate myself. Because you need money to fucking build. And using money to ultimately liberate yourself from money and from the system, that's perfectly okay. Not just okay, it's what we have to do. And it's what I'm going to do. And if you with me, let's ride. If you not, go ahead, sit there, cheer, rah, rah, revolution. Let's see how far that gets you, fam. Fuck. Yo, I don't call it the corona, I call it the crown virus The empire's weapon, they trying to downsize us Depopulation, my theory's based in 10 years of research